let's imagine something. So look at Dick Tracy. That's a, that happens to be from the sixties. And I, I, you know, I used to read the Saturday morning comics and, you know, I always thought that was coming. Uh, but I can tell you that uh, the television repair men in those days would never have believed it because TVs were full of vacuum tubes and the main monitor was a giant vacuum tube, but things changed and the transistors came along and, and uh, smartphones and smart watches. And there you go today. Someone's got a t- uh, smart watch with a FaceTime capability. I haven't seen one yet, but uh, we know they're there and they're going to become more popular. Now let's imagine something else, fresh food. So if a, uh, a person called William Durant dreamed about a home refrigerator to change the way that food is stored. And he wanted to have something that would have its own uh, compressor and re- refrigeration cycle. And he introduced it in, uh, I'm actually hidden here, whatever date it was. But uh, it allowed us to, to, to buy all kinds of different food, things that came from long distance, out of, out of season, uh, from different climates. One of the things about these that, things that you have to remember, and I took this example from a uh, a TV documentary I saw earlier this year called uh, Inventions That Changed the World. And uh, I'd really encourage everyone to look for that online and see if they can watch it because it's fantastic. But the common thing of all of those things it, to remember is that it takes tremendous, it doesn't take just a great idea, it takes tremendous determination and it takes entrepreneurial spirit. Many of these people risked everything to make, their, to make those devices a, a reality. So remember that innovation by itself won't, isn't all it takes and the world won't beat a path to your door because you've got a good idea.